Greetings fellow Earthlings. Uh, we're going to talk about a new little innovation here at Earth Tools. Um, something that <laughs> has irritated me for as long as I've used BCS tractors, is, um, which is going on 40 years, um, is how these gear shift levers can pop very easily out of their holders. Now, of course, being able to pop these things out quickly is nice when you want to reverse your handlebars from front PTO to rear PTO handlebar position, for example. But that comes back and bites you when you're using the tractor out in the field and you go to shift gears and the ground is a little uneven and you stumble a little and you accidentally knock that out and then it falls out of your hand and falls down on the wheel, gets caught by the tire tread and gets mangled by the tire tread. And we have a lot of uh, machines that come in here for service where these things are kind of not straight anymore and we know exactly what happened to them. So after asking BCS for years to deal with this, I've told them, look, you need to reform this plastic thing, change the shape of it, have a little clip that comes down across the end to hold it in when you don't want it to come out. They have ignored that. They've used this same bracket for almost 40 years now, this little uh, plastic piece. Um, we came up with our own solution, uh, which I am going to illustrate here by taking this off first. This is a current model 853 tractor. Um, so, what we introduced is the simplest thing in the world. Actually, my fabrication uh, guy, Hunter Matthews, came up with this idea, and it's just a little L, a little steel L bracket. I looked at that and said, that is an L of an idea. Bad pun, but we're actually going to call it that. We're going to call these the L of a bracket. So what happens is, on all new tractors from today's date forward, which is uh, like December 1st, 2018, uh, we are going to install these things, unless requested not to. And we're going to have these brackets available uh, for anybody with older tractors who wants to purchase them. Uh, and they can put them on in a few minutes, just like I'm going to do here. Now, it won't fit on some of the really older models. I think it'll fit fine on all the 853s and 852s, but I've tried to mount them on my own 850 model tractor at home, and they just wouldn't fit. The, the location that these brackets are mounted in is slightly different, and the, the L of the bracket just doesn't work. So, what this is doing, obviously, is changing the orientation of the plastic bracket by 90 degrees. Now, one thing we want to make sure of is that the angle that I've tightened it down at this way is roughly 90 degrees to the travel of the lever. And of course the angle this way should be 90 degrees to the angle of the lever as well. Now I'll tighten this thing down. Now, as you can see, gravity holds it in the socket. So hitting it to the side will not knock it loose. You have to pick it up. Now you can change it. So as, you know, no matter how worn out these plastic brackets get, it's not going to fall out of there because gravity actually holds it in. Now when using the tractor, I've got a set of these installed on our demo 749 unit outside, and I've noticed when using it, sometimes there is a tendency, particularly with the gear shift lever, um, if you're up shifting, you, you use a little kind of upward force on it. And if you do that, see, you can pop it out. So you have to kind of train yourself not to do that. So it's, you know, it's just a muscle training thing that you get used to uh, in terms of whenever you're shifting gears, you use a little bit of down pressure just to hold it in the socket, which, and, you know, or straight forward and back pressure is fine too, but if you pick up on it, obviously it's going to pop out of there. You can set it right back down in, but it's just getting used to that. With the old method, the side to side mount, the standard mount, of course, any side-to-side -side force at all would pop the thing out, which is highly irritating when you're getting used to shifting the thing. So we feel that this is going to be a much better solution. It's also going to increase the life expectancy of these brackets because they're no longer, uh, gravity is no longer wearing away the one side as the thing sits there and vibrates and it wears that side down to make them too loose. So that's it. The Earth Tools Elevator Bracket. If you need them, uh, you can call us and we can ship you some. These are 20 millimeter bolts and lock nuts that are uh, holding the thing onto the original bracket. We supply those with the brackets. Uh, we've got a little kit. So that's it. Thanks for watching.